Hey up. You can probably hear I'm being droned just over there. Okay. Oh <laughs> okay. So let me introduce the video. So I've come out to the Roaches today and this is where I did my very first vlog. So I decided to come and do a revisit uh, and another meet up with um, Eddie Skelson. So uh, we're going to have a bit of banter. He's going to give me a tour of the Roaches. It's his favourite place. He loves it. He knows it inside out. So he's going to show me all the best compositions. Now to the right of us, we've got the sun rising and uh, in this, that drone's getting really close. In this first shot, um, we're looking back to the roaches itself and I've got a composition and I think that is going to be lit up really nice. Sun to the right, there's nothing in this direction, there's no foreground. Uh, in a sense we could get a silhouette of ramshaw rocks but i really want to get some really nice colorful morning sunlight on these rocks in front of us so we're standing on hen cloud and i've not been up here before i didn't come up here last time um, so let me talk you through this composition on the left there we've got some rocks that go down from hen cloud and then in the background, we've got uh, the roaches itself. And let me show you the composition. Let's put some uh, video on of the composition. So there's the composition. Got this nice clump of rocks to the left of us. And then, quite simple actually, uh, background, the roaches. At the moment, even with the light we've got at the moment, it looks quite nice. But I think once this sun comes up, it will uh, look really nice and golden. Now we have got an option to this composition. We can pull back and have a wider view. And I quite like that. I might take that as well, because I think these rocks in front of me are also going to uh, light up. We did think at one stage that the cloud was going to kill this completely, but it's just about holding now. Sorry about the wind, by the way. There is a bit of wind on top here. Hopefully uh, it's not gonna spoil the video. Now I do owe Eddie a coffee and I've bought some money today. I've actually bought, uh, I've got notes with me today. I've got 40 pound in notes with me, uh, but apparently there's no coffee shops here. What a great shame that is. You know, I was ready to buy a coffee, but there you go. There's probably three or four different compositions here and I'm using the 24 to 70. So um, when I put the pictures up, I'll show you what settings uh, I use. So you can see from one particular viewpoint what we can get. And we have the light at last. It's popped up and it's looking rather nice. Rocks lighting up very nicely there on the left and also the roaches as well. I'm spoilt for choice on compositions here. There's lots of interest in these rocks. So I'm doing a few variations. It's so nice, I'm going to do a pano, but I don't use tripod to do pano, that's too much faff. I always do panos handheld, but I do do it twice.
I'm going round there. No, not them rocks there. No, here. Yeah, them there. That's um, that's me tutor chipping in there. Are you recording still? That's quite a good shot actually, I'm going to take that because you're silhouetting against the sun. Yeah, that's a good shot that, I like that. So, we've come down now to one of the barns that I've not been to before, uh, to photograph it. There's a bit of a problem with the light because the sun is quite low, so we're not getting uh, any light at the minute on it. Um, and it's quite difficult to photograph, there's some nice trees lined up, but... At the minute I'm not seeing a composition I'm kind of settled on, if I'm honest. I think I'm going to have to be here a few minutes to kind of play around with this. The sun will come up behind it, maybe 20 minutes, but it's nice, but it's not, at the moment it's not shouting out to me take this this is quite nice here because we've got some light on this wall let me just turn you around so here we've got some nice light coming down on the, the two walls in the foreground and we've got some light on the actual barn itself but uh, might just have to move a bit further around That's quite nice, that's got potential with a tree in as well. Maybe low down. We've got this branch here which interferes with the shot. So if we come down, maybe there's a possibility. I think something like this, we just have to walk around and uh, see what we can get. Because it's not. Uh, it's not straightforward, there's lots of choices of how we compose something to capture this. If we look that way, we've got some light on the landscape behind. I don't know. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay, I'm trying this composition here and because I'm pointing the camera up and because I'm at 14 mil, everything's coming in. Everything's pointing inwards. The tree on the right's pointing in. The building's coming in from the left. I'll put the video up now so you can see it. And uh, it's a shot I like and I don't like. I can't make my mind up. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna bracket it because the sky behind is quite bright. There's no interest in the sky at all. It's pretty awful. In fact, it's, it's clouding over now. So I would imagine we're gonna expect to have some rain very shortly. So uh, let me take the shot and uh, we'll see how it comes out. I picked this view because about 10 minutes ago the sun light was starting to come down here and it was lighting all this up. Now it's looking like uh, a black and white shot. So we'll take this black and white shot and we'll have a look um, how it comes out. Probably don't even need to bracket maybe. Let's have a look. Eddie's over there taking photos of the sheep. No, no interest in the sky whatsoever, so there's probably no need now to um, to bracket this. So, um, here's this shot. Tell me what you think. Yeah, give me some feedback. So I've come around to take the probably what is the most traditional shot of this barn and uh, the sky behind is a little bit darker now 
So the composition straightforward, barn in the middle, trees to the right, tree to the left. It's going to be a, a bit of a pano type crop and it will be black and white. But at least I've now got a shot of the barn. And Eddie's still doing portraits of sheep. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this shot. We've just walked further up to a second barn. There's another small one behind me that I'm going to take very, very soon because the light's just falling on that. This one, the dynamic range is awful because it's hidden under the roaches. So the light's coming up in the sky and down here where this um, barn is, is really dark. So this is going to be uh, quite a tricky one. I've bracketed, but I think this is going to need a little bit of uh, processing. There is some nice light on the trees catching there they're illuminated but because we've come higher up the sun is going to take a little bit longer before it lights this part of the roaches up and um, let me just do a bracket shot try and bring something into the sky that's good got some nice sky there and then we'll go three stops over on this foreground and that should give us a shot but there's some really nice light passing through the trees let's look at this shot while i turn around and compose this one move the camera bag out of the way so I don't have to clone that out. I must admit there has been some images this year that I've had to clone the camera bag out because I've left it oh, and the light's gone. Oh man. So we'll wait for the light to come back. I've got a shot but I just want to get some variations in this light. And now I've took the shot I'm starting to pick faults with it now now I can see it on the screen and when you get it on the bigger screen at home you start to pick even more faults with it sometimes and there's going to be no perfect image that we can take there's always going to be something that you might have to compromise and so I'm just going to play with this the light's really nice with the tripod in so if the best light's on the image with the tripod in I will clone it out but I like that I think do I need to be lower down this is what it's all about adjusting if I go lower down let's go lower down let's look at that and while we're doing this it gives a chance for the uh, the light to come out it's marginally better marginally what we do need is some good interest in the sky because there's to the left of the tree there's dead space in this composition, so that might be the compromise.
So we've had a really good morning this morning. Uh, the weather's mm, kind of closing in a bit now on and off. We expected in, it though, didn't we? Yeah, it was the forecast. I was promised an inversion, but it didn't materialise. But that's the weather, isn't it? it yeah, don't, too windy. We think it's going to happen and it doesn't. Now, strange thing this morning, we've had a usual chat uh, and we're both uh, looking at new cameras, um, but for very different reasons. Yeah, uh, I mean, you said you wanted one because you're not very good and you need all the help you can get. And I... <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, you go first, man. You, you know, know, you know we, we decide on the script and he throws something in. <laughs> so, for me, I've been using, uh, obviously, the Osmo 2 for video. Uh, and it's got some a few annoyances with it, to be honest. And one is that you can't see. I've had to set this up and hopefully we're both in the frame, but I can't see while we're filming. So I really wanted uh, a screen to use to make videos. So it, it's a great piece of kit, don't get me wrong. It's done a good job, but I'm now looking, probably, I've got a bit more research to do. I'm looking at the Z30 Nikon mirrorless. Now this won't be a transition to mirrorless. It could be purely for video, for 4K video. It's gonna give me better battery life because that's something else with the Osmo. It probably lasts about 25 minutes when you shoot in 4K, 60 frames. But uh, Nikon Z30 should last a bit longer. And you've got an opportunity as well to buy a second battery, whereas the Osmo just has one battery built in and you have to recharge it. So there's other reasons as well why um, I'm a bit annoyed with it, the Osmo. It don't like the weather. No. Put some rain on it and that's it. It says see ya. Whereas uh, Nikon Z30 is uh, weather sealed. So I'll be able to do uh, more shoots out in the rain. Um, so that's my reasons for Z30. Probably going to be in the new year because I've got to get some pennies together. Got to trade some kit in um, yeah, to justify I've, it. I've been going through that myself. Uh, incidentally, you can see yourself if you use the app. Yeah, but that's a faff, isn't it? <laughs> that's more faff. It this is faff. Photography, right. I like it to be simplified. And, and when you start introducing more faff, then it's yeah. like, yeah, this app, that's app. No, no, you know, yeah. What's up? Yeah. So, we, Osmo, if you want to get in touch, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, uh, I uh, this this camera of mine, this 5DS, is, is amazing. Oh, is it heavy? You, yeah. you said it was heavy, didn't you? I did say it was heavy. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell, that is. Yeah. Ah. Oh, and I then you combine it with a heavy tripod and then all the other crap. I thought mine were heavy. <laughs> what the hell's it built? Is, well, is it the lens? Tank. I mean, that's survived. That's been swimming twice. It feels like it's the lens, that, it the weight. Fell off my tripod twice. Yeah. Jesus. Know. Yeah, the lens is heavy, but the body, that body's there. Uh, I can see now why you, you're thinking of going lighter. Yeah, so, I mean, that's part of it. And I could live with this forever, to be honest. Absolutely super camera. Um, that 50 megapixel uh, just really gives you so much to cheat with. Uh, the, the menu is fine. Everything is fine, okay? The problem is I, I want to improve my video quality and reduce the faff as well. So I'm looking for something that's a better hybrid and the video quality of this is garbage. But it was made before video hybridization was a thing really. Uh, and you know, and it's all about taking photographs. Mm. But for me, the way I see me going, I want to do a lot more video. Now I, I've kind of got my eye on the Canon R5, not new. And that's a, that's a big ask. For me, that's a lot of cash. So again, selling off lots of gear and trying yeah, and to- Nikon's quite good. It. They are, I, I really like your 850. Yeah, I think it looks cracking. Um, but I just know my way around the Canon. So I've no, mm. I've no loyalty to any mm. of these brands, you know. I unless they sponsored us, of course. Unless they sponsored you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, Sony's got fantastic orco focus as, you know, mm. when I used one of them, I thought it was tremendous. And uh, you know, you got the, the color of the, Canon is amazing. Um, I saw the X-T4 and I thought mm. that was pretty good. The video was yeah, really that, good. Yeah. And then just looking at the screen on the back of your 850 made me jealous. Mm. So I, I think on my journey, I started with the D1300 uh, Canon, then uh, the M50, which was great. Again, some slight issues with that, but I've, I've had it for three years, so I must have liked it. And then I, I, I got into this and this is a proper photography camera. But I do feel that I'm going to have to jump on 
the mirrorless train at some point. Mm. Well, do I have to? No, that's that's not true. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with playing with a DSLR. In fact, mm. I'd like to try some older cameras. Mm. I think that would be cool. Yeah. So I think if anything's going to test you, it's it's pulling away the quality of life improvements that I want with a new camera. And getting back to, you know, the guys who do the film photography with their light meters and all that other stuff, it just blows my mind. Mm. They've got the patience. Yeah. I'd like to try it, though. Mm. I'd like to give it a go. I don't think I'd stick it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So, yeah, for me, it's... Um, the R5. The R5, yeah. Now, I've seen the R6, which, seen, which is incredibly cheaper. But the bits I saw that are cut from, you know, Canon cripples them. Uh, seem to be the bits that I mm. really want in a camera. So, yeah, it's going to have to be the big one. Mm. But anyway, it's not something that's going to happen tomorrow. Well, unless I have an R6. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I'm saving towards an R5. Please contribute to our fund. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be January, February, I think. I'm in no rush. I'll still use the Osmo because it's got its uses. Yeah. But that means more weight to carry. But... Uh, That's just the way it is. Action camera for me and iPhone. For, mm. for my video footage at the moment, I'm doing great stuff with the iPhone. And I had the DJ Action 3 and the GoPro 11 to try out. I've just sold the Action 3 and kept the GoPro 11. Not because um, the GoPro 11 is significantly better than the Action 3. In fact, now the Action 3 is gone and I'm going to sell the GoPro 11. I'm getting the Action 4 to replace both of them. Mm. So that's DJI. I'm a DJI fanboy, but uh, honestly, it's the better action camera. Yeah. Uh, the new, the GoPro 12, I might even do a video on it, I don't know, mm. but it's just a firmware update for the one I've got. It's ridiculous. It feels like that anyway, so I'm sure someone may contradict me, but good luck with that. You never know. So watch this space and see, uh, see what happens uh, when we get these cameras. I'm definitely going to do a comparison between the... Uh, 30 and the d850 i know which one's going to win because i've already looked at the images uh, from the z30 the still images uh, i wouldn't use it as a, as a main body um, it's not quite got the quality i look for in an image but video it's going to do a superb job right then where we're we going next well any uh, more bonds or uh you've got the one at the far end but you shot that before uh, that one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could even go to Lodge Church, but I've got to be honest with you, the weather, weather wouldn't give you very good no, shots. It's going to be the, gloomy. The weather is closing in as we speak. Yeah, yeah. And, and another, another hour, rain, rain thunderstorm. Um, so there's plenty of places to go around here. Uh, it's just whether it's going to be lit well for you. Yeah, and I think the, weather, I think the rain is so imminent. I think it's, uh, yeah, yeah. it's probably... Yeah, I'm not feeling it now, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, I think it's going to be a wrap, to be honest. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this content. Give the video a like. Make a comment. What do you think about uh, the Nikon Z30? Have you had a look at it? Is there any other options out there that I could use for video that I've missed, that I've not managed to research? So, thank you for watching. Bye. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.